Hey guys, so a fan of mine requested that I do a video on my current gaming setup. I thought I might as well just do a whole room tour, just for fun. Um, so here is my current setup. I have three monitors and my computer to the right, which is uh, custom built, um, of course. <laughs> you always want to uh, build your own PC if you uh, know how. Um, there's some cool, I guess, LED fans on the sides. And then here is a bunch of posters that I have all over my walls. A lot of these are many years old. I got a lot of them for free long ago. So uh, a lot of these are very old. I haven't had any uh, recent posters, um, but still pretty cool. Pretty cool decorations to have uh, all over the walls. And then there's Halo. I'm a really big fan of Halo. And then there's Game of Thrones up there. I was a big fan of the first season. I'm still a big fan of Game of Thrones. Um, it's not like my favorite show, but I still love uh, I still love it. Um, and then over here is a stack of uh, Xbox games and uh, some cards on the wall. I'll be going over everything in a second. Um, let me just turn around here. All right, so here's my bookshelf. There's not a whole lot of books here. Um, up at the top is a Pikachu, a uh, Goku figure, and there's a uh, Game of Thrones map. And then to the right, you can see some little... Uh, figures, I guess, that I got at the National Video Game Museum. I thought they were pretty cool. A little Mario box and a little Pac-Man, like arcade machine. Um, so yeah, going down here, there is an Adventure Time sword on the side, uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh tins, there's a bunch of cards inside, and all sorts of good stuff. Down here is some books, some uh, game guides, and then over here to the right is a uh, Attack on Titan. Um, manga book it's really huge um the anime follows this manga like to the point <laughs> um i'm pretty sure the anime just uh ripped it right out of the manga and put it as an anime <laughs> it's just really cool to have that book and then uh down here some pokemon videos and just some stuff on the side and here's some uh pokemon cards and some game boy games and there's the original game boy color and game boy advance in the back you can't see but there's a there's a stack of old game boy games in the back and game boy advance games um, and then down here is some just retro games like the n64 games i had as a kid and the snes games and some pc boxes playstation playstation 2 all sorts of good stuff and i actually have um, all the old consoles in my closet there to the left but i didn't bring those out and then right here is something i got from a uh goodwill store just a cool looking piece of art i like artistic things um, i just don't have anywhere to put this so that was just hiding behind my bookshelf and then uh, over here, I have some cards mounted on the wall in little frames. Here's some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I was big into Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid. Um, and then some Pokemon cards also mounted on the wall. Back in like the early 90s, there wasn't a whole lot of games to play. So uh, collecting cards was a big hobby of mine. Um, and then there's Charizard. It's always good to wake up and see a uh, base set Charizard <laughs> right in the middle there. Brightens up my day. So yeah, down here, uh, these aren't all my ga Xbox games, but I was huge into the Xbox 360. I never had a PS3, um, but I had a lot of Xbox 360 games, and of course I have an Xbox One, and I had the original Xbox, mainly just for Halo. Um, Halo was a big uh, part of my life. And then uh, here's a Destiny little promotional board that I got from a store. I don't even have Destiny, I just uh, thought that was really cool to take. Um, so yeah, here is my bed. It's actually sort of like a modern looking couch that can fold out. Um, I got this because a queen size bed takes up way too much room and I needed space just for when friends come over. So uh, here is like a little desk. Uh, all of my desks that go around my whole room are little glass little tables. And uh, yeah, they come out, you can move them around, very uh, adjustable, and when friends come over, sometimes they bring their computers or what or TVs or whatever, and they can just set up right there, very easy uh, uh, space to put things on. So here's my Xbox One, usually I just play Halo 5, I don't really play anything else, I'm a big fan of Halo, but uh, currently that's pretty much the only game I play on the Xbox One, I don't play it very often anymore, um, but yeah, and then there's a little charging stand. And there's my TV. It's a, I think it's a 42 inch with a little soundbar in front of it. It's a uh, Chang Hong TV, <laughs> uh, kind of an off brand, but it's actually a really good quality TV. And then back to my computer setup. So uh, I'm just gonna pull out my chair and go over everything. Um, so in the middle is a 1440p, 144 hertz 
uh, gaming monitor and on the side is two 1080p monitors. The two monitor monitors on the side are 24 inch and I think the monitor in the middle is 28 inch. I could be wrong on that, but as you can tell, it's a little bit bigger. Um, and here's my microphone. It's a uh, Samsung Meteor mic with a little stand. Uh, this isn't the highest quality microphone, but it's just the microphone I've been using lately. I got it for pretty cheap. I had a little Amazon gift card, so I had it for $40. Here's my uh, headphone. Um, it's a Cinti headset, gaming headset. Pretty good sound quality and has a little microphone and it lights up on the sides. There's my mouse. Nothing really special about my mouse. And here's my keyboard, which is a Logitech G110, I think. Uh, it lights up and has a bunch of macro keys on the side. Um, so let's see. Here's my computer, but. Before I just go into my computer, I just want to uh, show you what it looks like with the lights off. Normally, the lights are never on in my room. I don't like uh, lights whatsoever. Uh, I like it dark whenever I'm uh, playing games and such. So yeah, um, it's kind of cool to have a light up keyboard at night. Um, this is really useful for people who uh, haven't memorized how to type on the keyboard yet. One of my friends, he still hasn't memorized the keys, so uh, it's good for him like when the lights are off to see that. And then here's my computer at night. Just two uh, LED fans, nothing special really. I like just a clean, like normal build with a lot of ventilation to let the uh, heat out. Um, I think that's the best way. And then I'm just gonna show you guys the inside. This computer is actually pretty beast. <laughs> um, it's like, it's uh, it's pretty pretty good, uh, <laughs> and I'll show you why. So here we go. Um, I just go through everything real quick. So um, let's see. And there at the bottom is a EVGA ACX 3.0 GTX 1080, which is overclocked. Amazing graphics card. Absolutely amazing, especially playing at 144 hertz with a 1440p monitor. And then on the side. Um, there is 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM. And then down here, like in between, I'm trying to uh, light it up. And the back, it's a Z97 uh, MSI motherboard. And then that big like block that you can see to the left there with a the fan on it, it's a, um, it's a, I, for, I forgot what it was. It's a cooler, it's a 212 cooler. I forgot uh, what brand. And then under that is a motherboard. It's the uh, i5-5690K. And then, uh, unfortunately, I didn't go through everything, but that's pretty much the basics. And I just wanted to show you guys that I use OBS Studio to record most of my videos, um, most of my gaming videos. It's a great program if you're getting into making uh, gaming videos. Be sure to use OBS Studio. It's uh, fantastic. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like this video, and have a nice day.